we got a 4830 sprayer we're going to work on today. Customer said that he's losing power and he's getting some codes. And he said he changed fuel filters and no change. So let's see what we got going on. We got two codes here on this sprayer. We got a 9703, which is the water and fuel sensor. And then we got a 134707, which is our low power issue code that we're getting. Uh, it's been stored 33 times so let's dig into that and see what we got going on so here's another recording i did and then definitely the fuel pressure just falling on its face at certain points anyway so i forgot to film this after i figured out what was going on but so i've got a pressure gauge that i hooked into the port right here so the fuel comes in through the hose here from the tank goes through the fuel filter through the through the transfer pump and then it's pumped into the final fuel filter and then it's pumped over to the ejection pump and so i was checking my pressure here and at key on i had roughly about five pounds and at idle i'd had about 4.5 almost five pounds at idle and when i'd rev it up my pressure would go down and under a load it would pull a vacuum so according to the book the pressure was within spec but just not just barely over spec though and which is in underneath a load though when i was testing it and it's just at idle which there's no other specs for high idle or anything like that so i did a flow test uh, at the injection pump where the line here comes over to the injection pump on the other side i flow tested it there and i was getting roughly about 10 10 ounces in 30 seconds which the spec was 17 so i was definitely a little low there so then i come over here pulled the fuel filter off and checked the flow coming out of here since that was after the uh, transfer pump there and it was about the same nothing changed there if i took the hose off of here and put it into a bucket it flowed plenty a lot more than 17 uh, ounces per minute so i knew i had a bad transfer pump the filter on it customer had just changed it and didn't make no difference so i knew i didn't have an issue there and i even poured it out made sure nothing was in it it was clean so i ordered a transfer pump you can get just the pump portion it was literally about ten dollars difference between the pump section and the whole thing which comes with a new water and fuel separator sensor there as well so i went ahead and just got the whole assembly there that way i don't even have to assemble it or nothing Got it on there, retested. Uh, had plenty of pressure, had like seven pounds then all the time. And underneath the load, it don't drop below five. So that was obviously the issue that we had here. We had a low flow issue going to the high pressure pump and the high pressure pump was just not, uh, it was outperforming what it uh, had available. And so the suction under it would just pull a vacuum. 